Standing in now, number 24. He bounces this one sharply and through the hole into left field. It's a base hit. Jorge Soler will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Runner goes. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. But the catch is made on the line out there. Will they have a shot at doubling him off first? Almost any center fielder will tell you that this is the toughest play for them to make. The ball that's lined straight at him. It's hard to get a good read on whether you should go back, charge, or just hold your ground. But he's able to make this play without too much trouble. Into the box now, number 11. And there he goes towards second. Now a swing and a ball hit high and deep down the line in left. And this ball is a home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left. His first homer so far in the series as they move out in front seven to six. guy on the mound right now is absolutely livid. He knows that he threw way too hittable of a pitch in the situation when he's ahead in the count like that. He should be mad at himself. In now. Byron Buxton. And that misses two and one. So often, playoff baseball comes down to the bullpen. And this is going to be a bullpen game from here on out. Oh, textbook slider there. And he's back at even two and two. This is a guy that's got to understand his abilities here. He's got the speed to beat out any ground ball, but he's taking uppercut swings trying to go yard. Let's get a hit. Two, two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Well, this is a spot where it helps to have a two-seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right-handed hitters. Now a swing and a fly ball. Gonzalez is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. On to the seventh here in game one. Cubs lead it seven to six. Buster Posey will stand in to lead things off here in what's now a brand new ball game. Roberto Osuna will come on now as he'll take over in inning number seven. We'll look ahead now and pick this one back up in the top of inning number eight. Jason Kipnis 
will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. Yeah, he needed that one to avoid loading the bases, but still a long road back from here. Three and one now to Kipnis. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Well, we knew he had to work carefully with the runner in scoring position, but I don't think a walk was what he had in mind. That's going to make things just a little trickier now with the bases loaded. A 1 1. Swing and a fly ball. And this should at least get home the tying run. Buxton is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. One run scored. And the second run will score as well. Buster Posey will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. Adam Lind will stand in now in what could be one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game. And what he has to do right here is put his 0 for 4 out of his mind. He hasn't had the greatest of performances to this point in the game, but he could make up for it with a big hit right here. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Oh, here's a hard hit ball. That'll get down into left center field. That's a base hit. One run is scored. Two runs have scored. Now the third man is scored. Carlos Gonzalez will stand in. He homered back in the...